Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice of radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a really fun new item card coming out in the Pokemon trading card game in Lost Thunder. It's called Lost Mixer. Or to be more specific, according to Google Translate, translating the official Japanese website, it's called Lost Mixer. I'll have a quick check with David to make sure that is in fact correct. So what does Lost Mixer actually do? Well, it is an item card. And according to Google Translate, and I have checked it with David just to make sure and he has confirmed, it says put two cards from your hand into the Lost Zone. Then draw a card. Now, as draw power... Gonna be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not great. Now, it does specifically say on the card, if you cannot put two cards in the Lost Zone, you cannot play this card. That shouldn't really need to be stated. It should be fairly obvious because it says, put two cards in the Lost Zone, then draw a card. But it's nice to have that confirmation. As a draw card, this sucks. Now, don't get me wrong. Item draw has always been kind of interesting. There were people that used to play Victory Medal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, victory medal. Flip two coins if one of them's head, draw a card. If both of them are head, search your deck for any card. You had a 25% chance of actually being able to search. But victory medal was played in the speediest of speed decks. As a side note for newer players, they used to be given out as, well, prize cards, actual prize cards, in what were battle roads before league challenges. And it was really fun because only the winner got one. So whereas now you get to the final of a league challenge and you're both getting a promo card and winner gets 15 points, loser gets 12 points, in Battle Road, winner gets a Battle Road victory medal, loser doesn't. That, that added a nice little sense of drama into the finals. So item draw will be played. I mean, at the moment, we've got Acro Bike. Acro Bike is very nice. Draw a card put one in the discard. Essentially, you draw two cards, one in your hand, one in the discard. And it's fine, right? Acro Bike is a nice little card for speed decks that lets you accelerate through your deck. It's fine, if slightly underwhelming. Well, this, you get to draw one card. And look, drawing a card is fine. But you got to put two cards in the Lost Zone. Now, if we really want to go down the drawing route here, let's not forget that Macargo is a thing. And that Macargo allows you to search your deck for any card and put it on top of your deck. And then when you play Lost Mixer, you're like, oh, wow, I just drew this card. So, look, it's not terrible as a draw card, but I'm going to stop talking about it as a draw card now. Because, honestly, just play Acro Bike. It's not even, I mean, playing an Ultra Ball, right? Discarding two cards from your hand. That can be super annoying. Lost zoning cards? No. So let's just discount it as a draw card. If you're full-on desperate to draw a card, I suppose it's okay. But what's way more exciting about this is that it puts two cards in the Lost Zone from your hand. And at that point, drawing a card becomes an ancillary benefit. And as an ancillary benefit, drawing a card is amazing. Playing the card just to draw one, no. Playing the card for another reason, but then getting to draw one as well, oh my goodness, yes. So why do you want to put cards in the Lost Zone? Well, the first thing I need to mention about this. This card is going to get better as we go along. As long as Lost Thunder isn't the Lost Zone set and we never see any more Lost Zone cards, you can assume that more cards in the future will be revealed that make this better, make this more useful. And let's face it, let's go straight to Jump Bluff. Now, I did a video about Jump Bluff the other day, and I told you that the attack does, for one single grass energy, 20 damage for each Pokemon in your loss zone. Cool. Then I told you about Skip Bloom, and Skip Bloom, when you evolve up into Skip Bloom, you can basically swap it for a Jump Bluff. You get a Jump Bluff out of your deck, and you put Skip Bloom and all cards attached to it in your Lost Zone. So as soon as you get a Stage 1 Skip Bloom, you get two Pokemon in your Lost Zone, and you get to search Jump Bluff out of your deck. So it basically makes Jump Bluff a Stage 1 that does quite a bit of damage for a single Grass Energy. That's pretty nice. But I also told you that you basically get four Skip Bloom, and that gives you eight Pokemon in the Lost Zone, four Skip Bloom, four Hopip. And that means you're hitting 160 for one energy, which is great. Well, that's where Lost Mixer comes in. 
Because Lost Mixer actually takes a deck like Jumpluff and really starts to accelerate it. Because now you can play a whole bunch of random cards. Let's say you play four Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko's got a decent attack for a double colorless energy. And as a side note, I should mention that Natu also has the same attack as Jumpluff for a double colorless energy as a basic Pokemon. So that's really cool because it means you'll be playing double colorless anyway. And it gives you a decent starting Pokemon, which has got free retreat and a decent attack. So now we can play four Tapu Koko, and all of a sudden they just become Lost Mixer fodder. Oh, well, I'll just play four of them and I'll just Lost Zone it if I don't start with it. You can play a Pokemon like Orangaroo, where you generally want to play one of these because it's decent draw power. But you don't really want more than one on your bench. So the first Orangaroo you draw into, you pop it on your bench, and then you just Lost Zone the rest of them. And that's what's so cool about Lost Mixer. It allows you to kind of overplay Pokemon knowing that you can Lost Zone them. It's exactly the same theory as playing Bridget in a Zoroark deck. You play four Bridget and you know you're never going to play four Bridget in the game. You're going to play one Bridget in the game. But it's fine, because every Bridget you draw into after the first one, you just discard it with trade to draw two cards. Same thing here. You can play four Tapu Koko, four Orangaroo when you'd usually be playing one. You just lost zone the extra ones. I mentioned Spinarak in a video the other day. And I told you that Spinarak's kind of cool. It's got a great little attack, whereby the opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed and poisoned. You pop Spinarak in the Lost Zone. And that's great as a turn one attack. And it uses the same grass energy Jumpluff does, so that's cool. But then after turn one, you don't want Spinarak. But now you can play four of them to maximize the chances of starting with it, and then just Lost Zone the rest of them. Now obviously you can't play four of every Pokemon, sooner or later you're going to run out of space in your deck, you're still playing a 4-4-4 Jumpluff line at the end of the day. Now the good news is you're playing like four double colorless and maybe five or six grass energy, so your energy line is quite light here, but your Pokemon line is heavy. So you can't play all of them, but you don't need to. If we're looking specifically at a Pokemon like Jumpluff, 10. You get 10 Pokemon in the Lost Zone, you're doing 200 damage, 230 with a Choice Band, and everything up to Gardevoir and Greninja are going down to this. You should be absolutely fine. I mean, let's take it one further. Let's say 11 Pokemon in the Lost Zone. 11 Pokemon in the Lost Zone means you're hitting 220, 250 with a Choice Band, and then the biggest boys in the format like Metagross are going down and you're fine. One of the problems I said with Jumpluff was that even though every Skip Bloom is going to put two Pokemon in your Lost Zone, it is entirely unrealistic to assume you're going to be playing four Hoppip, four Skip Bloom, four Jumpluff, and none of them are going to be prized. And as soon as kind of one of them is prized, you're losing that entire combo. So essentially, if one of them is prized, you're losing two Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. So even though eight Pokemon is probably enough for Jumpluff, you're going to have some prized. That's where Lost Mixer comes in. It lets you pop some other Pokemon in the Lost Zone while you take your Hoppip, Skip Blooms, etc. out of your prizes. So you don't need to be playing 12 other Pokemon. Honestly, realistically, if you played half a dozen other Pokemon and Lost Zone 4 of them, you would be absolutely golden with this. Now, it's not going to be that easy all the time. Because remember, you don't really want to Lost Zone your Hoppip or your Skip Loon, you want them for Jumpluff. So if you're playing six other Pokemon, what are the chances you draw into two of them with a Lost Mixer? Not great. But Lost Zone one Pokemon per Lost Mixer is fine. But then you get into really weird interactions. So I told you about the Unknown Missing, which says that if your opponent has 12 supporter cards in their Lost Zone, you can choose to win the game. So now all of a sudden, you've got to be super careful, because if you end up going and putting a Steven's Resolve in the Lost Zone, thinking, ah, well, it's turn three, I'm not going to play this anymore, your opponent may be able to take advantage of that. And that's far from ideal. So it does add to these extra little interactions. And here's the thing, right? I'm just talking about Jumpluff at the moment, because as it stands, Jumpluff is the best use for this card. But it's not the only one. I'll give you one more example. The Raikou from this particular set has an attack 
that does 30 damage, and if you've got a lightning energy in your lost zone, it does 120. So now all of a sudden, Lost Mixer gets that lightning energy in your lost zone super easily, and you're hitting 120 for two energy. That's very nice. And these are not the only cards we're ever going to have. Now, at the moment, they seem like the ones we've got that are going to take great advantage of this. But Lost Mixer isn't just for Jump Bluff, though it's great in Jump Bluff. And it's not just for Raikou, although it's great in Raikou. It's great in cards that haven't been released yet. And that's what's so amazing about it. Any card we ever get for the next kind of two years that needs you to have specific cards in the Lost Zone, Lost Mixer comes along and it's like, hey, how you doing? And bearing in mind, even though it's not the reason you play the card, you still get to draw a card when you use this. How awesome is that? The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is extremely awesome. I'm a big fan of this card. I think it's going to see a lot of play. And look, it's only for Pokemon like Raikou. But it's great with that. Or Jump Bluff. But it's great with that. It is either absolute, utter, unplayable garbage. Or it's amazing. It's either a one Wossy card. Because Lost Zoning 2 cards to draw 1 sucks. Or it's a 5 Wossy card because there are certain decks that you would never play without 4 copies of it. So I'm going to give it a 5 Wossies. A 5 Wossies? Ah, I'm rolling with it. I can't be bothered to re-edit that bit. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? In some decks it's going to be amazing. I say a 5 Wossy card is any card that I expect to see a lot of play in a bunch of different decks or a lot of success. And I think Lost Mixer fits that quite nicely. So I'm giving it five Wossies. But if you disagree with me, wonderful news. There's a comment section. Do go nuts, but remember the rule, ladies and gentlemen. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassie, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.